So you want some more technical information on the charts with Virgin Galactic. Well, on the phone line today, I do have Ali Tisro from Sensei Crypto, and uh, we're going to go into the charts in deep depth now and look where we see the chart going. There's a lot of uh, bad information going around now with uh, Virgin Galactic, people making ridiculous claims, telling you we've got flights on June 25th, trying to make a name for themselves, trying to pump the stock. As you know, this channel only tells you the truth. If you don't like it, this is this channel ain't for you. We're not here to pump the stock one way or another. These are my real shares, my real positions, and we're bringing you the facts because we want you to say to us in the comments, we watch your channel because it's the most honest channel on YouTube TV. That's what it's all about. So we're going to go over now to uh, Sensei, who's got some charts, some technical information for you. Uh, just before I bring him on the screen, please do smash the like button. As always, tap the like button and make sure that you subscribe to the channel with the ringing of the bell. It's so important. If you don't turn the notifications on, you won't be notified when I go live. Anyway, let's get straight to those charts. We have uh, Ali on the phone now from Sensei Crypto. Ali, good morning to you. Thank you very much for having me on, Martin, to discuss some charts. Okay. What are we looking at right now? So we're looking at um, SBC's stock on the on the daily. So each candle is representing a day. Um this is the exact same chart I used on the day of um, when we had the live show and the day of the flight. Uh, we were warning people where to buy. Don't buy Don't buy at the top. Don't buy at $5. Don't buy at $4.70. Wait for these retracements. Start laddering in at the, um, the $3.84. And most importantly, at the $3.46, which was that 78.6% retracement level at $3.46. As we can see, let me show it to you with a brush. We held it which is very bullish, and we're heading back up now. Where do I see it going in the coming days? Well, we can slowly, if we keep bringing in lower highs, we can slowly come back up all the way to the tweezer top from this area here at $5. It all depends on the news. Um, you do the fundamentals, Martin. I'm just showing you the trade, uh, the charts, and, and we can start bringing back up. A, a, a better entry point would be back here where we had this trade on on my discord but i'll show it to you now so you can look look for in the future we had a, a, a low here and a lower low here however the rsi was putting in a higher low this this was a signal for bullish divergence if you if you didn't catch it here you could have caught it back here and we had this trade where we rode it all the way from three dollars to five dollars 24. there's no trade like that right now there's 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 no trade that i can see which is which is jumping out at me we're at we're at a at a 50 percent retracement level from from this low to the high so what what am i looking for now i'm looking for it to to pull back a bit put in a higher low and see some strength on this chart what is seem uh, a bit bullish is if we look at the macd down here we have just ticked bullish uh, we've just had our first green candle in a while, and normally when we have a green candle, we we we, we don't normally just have one and that's it. We normally start building the MACD with uh, a, a bit more momentum comes in. Another bullish piece is that we are um, the RSI is in the middle of, um, at 54 at the moment, which means there's a lot of room for this to run higher, which also does mean there's a lot of room for this to run lower as well. But we are in an area where we're not oversold, we're not overbought. So what I would be doing right now is sitting on the sidelines, waiting for a bit more um, bullish confirmation. But um, we can see that the RSI has a lot of room to run to, um, to the upside. Thank you for that, uh, Ali of Sensei Crypto. Now, if you want more information of why uh, why we give you this information and where the information comes from and how we come to these decisions, look below the video and you'll see the link to Sensei's website. Every morning we have a scalp trade provided through the Sensei uh, Crypto organization with uh, Ali and uh, Ed Nevius. And this morning we made 80%, uh, or se I think 75% on a trade. Very successful. Uh, I just want to uh, make it absolutely clear that this is not financial advice. This is what I'm doing doing with my trades and my real money. And uh, I just want to alert everybody, there is no confirmed flight for Janu uh, sorry, June 25th. There are some YouTubers trying to make names for themselves, either because they want to pump the stock up and make some money that way, or they just want to make money from making videos. Quite honestly, that is not my uh, passion or drive. As you know, if you've not checked out my uh, YouTube music channel before, I'm the world piano man. I've toured the world uh, as the world piano man. I've done my thing. I'm here now 
how to try and help people. There's no fact to suggest that Virgin Galactic is going to fly on June 25th. However, we do expect that to happen from the last earnings call. That's what we earned, learned from Michael Cole Glazier. That is what we're expecting. However, it's not confirmed and uh, we've got no way of knowing that until they release that information. Um, some of the YouTubers are using information that they've seen. Just some random Billy Bob Joe sat in their back bedroom on Reddit saying there's a flight on June 25th and then they're reporting on it as if it's news. It's rubbish. And if you want to follow that, then all good luck to you. But we're trying to bring you the facts so you uh, have informed, real, honest information. So we're going to go back to Sensei now for a final thought before uh, we wrap up this video. So what's your final thoughts, uh, Sensei? Yeah, so we're looking at the daily. It's, it's hard to say get in, get out on the technicals. It's it's very neutral. But when we look at a weekly chart, we can we can we can have a bit more of a sort of a long term um, assessment. And this is this is the weekly chart. So every candle represents a uh, a week. Currently, I think this four dollar um, is it four dollars eleven. This low from here is a key support and we um, key sort of level. Um, and we're coming back above it. So the next sort of trend line is over here at um, around a $4.50. If we break that, then we can head back to these levels at $7, which is uh, which aligns to the lows of um, 2020 or late 2019. But the, the main issue is if any, any point below this $4.11 um, mark, is bearish we can be seeing new lows i mean if you look at this chart it is just a series of um lower highs it's 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 like in the in the worst uh trend i've seen on on many charts you've, you've got these these highs of 60 dollars and we're just just getting lower and lower so there's no major reason why, why we should be expecting a major break of trend but there is money to be made you go to seven dollars that's that's a great percentage gain but at the same time um, I this this the long term this chart is is as bearish as it comes. So uh, don't be surprised to see new lows. Don't be surprised to be going back down below three dollars. Um, yeah, that's my final thoughts. Just be careful with SBC. Thank you, Sensei. Stay on the line. I'll come back to you when I end this video. So there is my, there's uh, Sensei's thoughts. I'm going to add my thought to it. If we do get the June 25th uh, or somewhere in June um, and uh, with the Italian Air Force and it's successful, I have said, and I've said repeatedly, it will go to seven bucks. And and uh, Sensei just sort of pretty much confirmed that with his view on the on the chart. Looking at the fundamentals, looking at the history, looking at the, the, the sentiment, bringing that in line with the, te with, with the technicals, the chart, I see seven bucks achievable. However, if we don't get the flights in June and it all gets delayed and there's more problems, this stock can go and will go, in my opinion, down to $1.50. So be very, very careful. Uh, if you want more information on uh, some more of Sensei's uh, charts and where he feels the charts are going, if you look up here, I've got two videos that you might find interesting uh, that we did yesterday all about our uh, uh, XRP just up here and down here you can look for Matic as well. We, do, we did that for you. Just have a quick look down there about our crypto predictions and where we see that going as well. So be very, very careful as always. Check out the links below for, for more information. And as always, we'll see you back later on a live show. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your money, your crypto. And as always, most importantly, take care of each other.